Hello, Namaste. I am Rasana Sunar from Nepal. I am a human rights activist and founder of IDEA Nepal, working to end harmful practice of child marriage and violence against women and girls in Nepal. The reason behind of my work, it reflects my own story. I was forced to marry off when I was 15 years old, which was not acceptable for me. I was not ready, neither my body was ready, become a bride and be sexually active and have children instant I get married. And I went against of my own family and luckily I escaped from that forced marriage and remained at school and continued my education. Since that day I realized the power of saying no. So there was not only me, there were many girls in our community who needed that voice, that power to say no to child marriage, to save their future. So we started having dialogue since 2013 and we went door to door raising awareness against of child marriage and its bad consequences, convincing their parents to save their daughters to stop their child marriage. So our campaign had stopped more than 80 child marriages and we have raised awareness among more than 10,000 young girls and life visiting different schools to different schools in Nepal. Worldwide, 650 million girls get married before they turn 18. But in Nepal, 37% of child marriage is still practiced, which means four girls out of 10 lose their chance for education. They are dropped out from their schools, exposed to domestic violence, mental torture and they it can lead to pre-pregnancy risk relating to child mortality and malnutrition in children uterus prolapsed and other health consequences which may lead them towards depression and suicide therefore child marriage is violation of human rights in nepal under 20 years marriage is illegal and it's called a child marriage. Child marriage eliminates the possibilities to have bodily autonomy in young girls and women. Although the rights of reproductive health is guaranteed in our constitution, but the reality is different. There is lack of implementation of those provisions and laws. Therefore, still majority of women and girls they don't even know that reproductive health rights or bodily autonomy rights exist they are unaware of their bodies and their rights in nepal there are several harmful practices that abandons girls and women to access their bodily autonomy for example chow system Chow system is untouchable system. During their menstruation period, they are called impure. So they are asked to leave outside of the home at least for five days to seven days in a small mud hut or cell. And they are not allowed to participate in any activities in their family or even touch the belongings of their family. And still we hear rape attempts, sexual harassment and ghost trafficking, issue attacks, all which makes women and girls feel vulnerable to feel weaker sections in the society. We as a woman, we don't feel secure enough in our bodies. We feel insecure, we feel unempowered, dependent in our family. So there is a solution how we can end this harmful practice of child marriage is we have to eradicate poverty because poverty is the main root of cause which makes girls and boys drop out from schools and they are involved in child labor and they married in such a young age like 15 or 16 years old. So the solution is investing in their education. If we invest in their education, they can be independent. They can have their life as empowered 
and they can have their ability to to use their voice to say no to such forms of violence or, or to access their bodily autonomy and in my perspective i see bodily autonomy in many other ways it's not only about our body our rights to have children our rights to say no to have sexual relationship with a partner if we don't want or our rights to control our bodies in our way but it's more than that it is connected to our self-respect our self-esteem and our status in the society how we are being treated and how the society is perceiving us are we being the same valued as male in the society or are we being treated differently so our body represents the overall our well-being and it also connects to our emotional social economical life with how much access do we get to participate equally in the society and to be proud of having a women body so i would encourage all of you to stop child marriage because this practice put girls in high risk of being vulnerable miserable and victim of domestic violence and exposed to marital rape and other health consequences which will create a whole cycle of poverty illiteracy and they can't be good parents to raise their children and again the next generation will suffer with the same fate so let's invest in education and let's save our girls from being forced bride and let's break this stereotype that girls are vulnerable we are equally empowered and we have a rights to decide what we want to do in our bodies thank you